Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a reading, a love reading Capricorn that looks so awesome, right? We see joy and romance reverse. You could be saying what, right? But Capricorn, this uh, romance card talks about somebody who's really close to reaching for what they want. Yeah, they're very close to it. Uh, these are both yes cards, although they are in the reverse. This is the two and the six of cups. The joy card, uh, mm -hmm. this joy card reverse, the six of cups, it can talk about somebody who might have had some type of conflicting childhood things kind of happen to them, which has kind of, you know, made them a little bit, uh, maybe, maybe kind of uh, fearful in, in relationships or something like that, right? It can. We have the rooster, and, uh, you know, the rooster is showing up here with the cat. Here he is, right? And uh, he looks like he's uh, real independent. And, you know, he looks like he might bite you if you bother him. Let's see. The rooster talks about confidence and uh, passionate and courageous acceptance. It's next to this, uh, the two of cups reversed here, which talks about somebody who is uh, ready to like very close to manifesting or nurturing, getting into a new relationship with somebody basically and uh, this rooster card, let's have a look at the rooster. And this is, uh, mm -hmm. this talks about an Indonesian rooster embraces the early morning sun. He does. He definitely gets to see that uh, sun up, doesn't he? Masculine strength and power and the moon, which is the feminine intuitive and creative energy is in the distance. When the rooster appears at dawn, it's time to embrace your ability to wake others up. Wow, this is very cool here. Yeah, it'd be great if everybody would wake up to kind of like <clears throat> the real deal here for, you know, the collective, right? Uh, but some people are. Yeah, it's very cool, right? And so uh, when the rooster appears, yeah, and this is because he alerts them the moment the darkness of night gives way to the morning light, illuminating the way for all. Mm-hmm. It can get tiring being a hero. Therefore, it is important that you can take a break from your hectic life. Yeah, to recharge. To recharge your batteries. This uh, energy, courageous acceptance, Capricorn, and next to this romance card, uh, in which talks about, hey, I'm ready. I'm almost, I'm almost there to accept a new beginning with somebody. Uh, and a new beginning that is passionate. Yeah, is uh, this card also talks about Get out and have fun and live a balanced life. I feel like somebody here is not living. Or they work too much. Something like that, right? Mm -hmm, I can understand that, right? Uh, it's not a good thing. No, it's not. And this is, I am important and I am noticed. Yeah. I never give up. I never surrender. I put my whole heart into everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to recharge your batteries. And the cat showing up, and here he is, right? He looks like he has attitude. He does. Some cats have major attitude. Mm -hmm. that's okay right yeah we're okay with it right they're just animals <laughs> and uh they're very intuitive they are uh, nothing is real except this moment mm -hmm. the card you have selected shows a beautiful tabby cat experiencing this moment with you when the cat shows up in your life it's time to slow down and start paying to attention to how you see yourself learn to be in your own skin so to speak accept who you are and enjoy your own company this talks about somebody who is like you know, step into your independence and have courage and uh, confidence about yourself, right? And this present moment here, somebody here, like they don't live in the present moment. Like they're not in the moment. They're either in the past or, and uh, I don't mean in the past in a good way where you're thinking about somebody from your past. I mean like stuff that has probably bothered them or, you know, slowed them in their life for sure. Yeah, accept who you are and enjoy uh, enjoy your own company. You are an independent being who needs time alone. And that's what this card kind of talked about. This six of cups reversed. It kind of talks about uh, have fun or, you know, or kind of get to know yourself. This reading is about somebody here who, uh, has lacked kind of confidence because of whatever in their life, right? Because of maybe conditioning, maybe just, maybe they were taught some great things, but you know, they didn't, the takeaway wasn't good, something like that. But, and, uh, we have submission and love. See somebody, this, somebody's really close to submitting to this Capricorn. Yeah. And we see the Panther who's diving here, like, and you know, the flowers kind of sprouting up about him. 
he's diving in and submitting here. And that's what this reading is about. Uh, this is a reading too about somebody who knows that they don't live a balanced life, that they live kind of, they work too much or they don't have joy, etc., etc. And let's see what else we have Capricorn. And I hope you guys are all well. Let's see what we have for Capricorn, please. And Capricorn, this is really, these are your person's cards, the next few cards I'm pulling here. Let's see what we have for Capricorn's person. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, this magician here. And he uh, holds the key to his future here, but he has to take it out of this globe and turn the key to this book here. This can talk about secrets. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are these other cards can speak of secrets as well? I feel like it is... Uh, the six of cups here over here it kind of talks about somebody who also uh <clears throat> could be alone with their thoughts but there could be some type of secret here mm -hmm. yeah and so here he is this is your person's card uh and this person has all the power this talks about having the power to unlock the past or unlock secrets or you know the secret here is is that so this person knows that this relationship will like catapult them into joy and happiness. And uh, this is love. You might, you might be their secret Capricorn. And they also have uh, the mermaid here. We're not going to show the whole card here, but she's in a globe here. Uh, yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. let's see what they say about that for your person. Right. Or uh, yeah, I may not show the card, but she's in a globe. Here's her tail. Right. This is this mermaid. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see here. We have, Mm -hmm. Let's see what they say about that card for your person. And this is uh, crossing them, curiosity, comparisons, dissatisfaction. So I said that here, that this person is uh, dissatisfied with their life. Yeah, most likely. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are basically, they're comparing, they're com not comparing, they're comparing their life because they know here that uh, it's unhappy. They don't live, they don't have joy. They work too much and there's not a balanced life. And also Capricorn, uh, I feel like this person realizes that mm -hmm, this courageous acceptance here with this rooster, they're realizing here that the passion and a balanced life is with you. It does really look like that, huh? And we have love, right? So let's see what else we have, uh, Capricorn, in this reading. And we're going to start the reading with a different deck today. And I hope you guys are well, in case I didn't say that. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. Let's see what we got for Capricorn, please. We have the Seven of Cups, yeah, and uh, here they are. Uh, I don't believe he's reading, reading in reverse, but we're going to see. So here's all these cups being offered, as usual, right? It's about, can be about a difficult choice. It can be about, be careful what you wish for, right? Uh, and it can be about, like, just a difficult choice, but it's, it's, it can be difficult for many reasons here. It can be difficult because somebody doesn't have, they haven't had courage, you can't live your life without courage, all right? If you do, then shame on you because uh, you need to get yourself to a place where you have courage. For sure you do, right? You need to be your own uh, your own best like self-help coach. If you can't do it, then call a self-help coach. Have somebody help you out, right? That's the total, that's the idea of hiring uh, life coaches and things like that. Yeah, you can call Power and Light if you want. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, let's see what else we have Capricorn. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And that's why your person's making it's, it's probably a hard, could be a hard choice or you maybe who, uh, it's not sure who's doing what here, but your person's cards over here are like, I have the key to love and am I going to remove, am I going to use it? Am I going to turn the key to love? Uh, because I'm dissatisfied in my life. Mm -hmm. And this person is very curious, Capricorn, about life with you. Yeah, that's it. So here's the Seven of Cups. And let's see what they have to kind of say about it in this particular deck that is, you know, unto itself. Yeah, the Seven of Hearts, secrets, imagination, and new feelings. You see? So there's a secret here because of this magician here. It talks about secrets and confidentiality. And you, one of you guys is the secret here, mm -hmm. but this is the secret sauce where somebody's really good for somebody and they have to submit to it. Or they have to have courage for the submission, right? Anything takes courage. You submit your, 
submit your song, right? To, uh, right? Mm -hmm. It takes courage. Let's see what we have, Capricorn, uh, also here. Let's see what we got for you guys. And we're going to use the regular tarot cards in a moment, but uh, I kind of wanted to uh, just kind of use these different cards today. Let's see what we have for Capricorn, please. In your crossing energy, Capricorn, is uh, the Four of Wands here. Mm hmm yeah, and so, mm -hmm. yeah, interesting here how we could talk about this Seven of Cups. We can talk about new feelings here. Somebody's going through an awakening, and they're like, you know, I feel different about my life. I don't, I don't want this dissatisfaction. And this Four of uh, Wands showing up here is uh, solid foundation, stability, and celebration. Yeah, and so, you know, this here said uh, Capricorn here, uh, this is about making a choice to read, like to be with somebody who's a secret, who offers far more joy and love and, and new feelings here. This is somebody's getting their courage because they're very close to jumping off the bridge. Yeah. The bridge down into, uh, into the water, into the sea of love. That's what it is. And the four of wands here, uh, this is a celebration and you know, this is challenging you here because I feel like, you know, that you could celebrate with this person. That's how it uh, appears in this reading. Mm -hmm. And also here, you know, you could have stability with this person. It does look like here. Somebody has to have courage. Yeah. Let's see what else we have, Capricorn. Could be you or your person, of course. And now we have the nine of swords. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's this lady lying in bed here. And uh, the swords are underneath her mattress. And she said, well, I thought I bought, you know, I bought, what do you call that stuff? Uh, mm -hmm, uh, microfiber. I thought I bought myself this beautiful bed here, right? And so here's the nine of swords. Uh, this is worry. Of course, it always is. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It can be anxiety. And uh, this is a struggle to make sense of events. So you're having uh, any kind of struggle if you're laying down at night is anxiety, right? Uh, but <clears throat> in some way here, shape or form, so you're trying to make sense of the situation because you know you could have something great with them. Let's see what else we have, Capricorn. The star shows up in the outcome, not in the outcome, in the past. We kind of have to cover the star here because, uh, you know, he's in his birthday suit. He is, uh, or this woman is rather. And so here she is, though. And this is in the past, you had hope for this, but now you're like, well, I don't think this person will ever submit. It's interesting how in this reading, it talks about, I feel, I believe submitting to self-love as well. Yeah. And, uh, the, the world card is here. So we get another, a little, another little, uh, another little, uh, card to cover another carta, right? That's what it is. Uh, and here's the world card. So this is what's on your mind here. And this is also, it can be seen as a celebration, uh, but it can also be seen as, whoops, it can be seen here as um, like a, a cycle ending. I feel like you are, what's on your mind is you want a cycle to end so you can begin a new cycle with somebody. Yeah, I'm pretty sure here. In the near future, uh, we're showing the moon. So this is probably now, you know, could be because over here is like overall energy here. Yeah, this is the overall energy, the seven of hearts. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of like new feelings uh, about secrets. Interesting, right? Mm -hmm. and this could be that somebody's having, uh, I feel like your person has new feelings about the situation. Uh, you could be right here, Capricorn, just kind of trying to make sense of this, like, well, why don't you just choose to come be with me? Because there's dissatisfaction and unhappiness uh, in this uh, reading because we see it over here with your person's cards. We do. We're going to move these here so we don't uh, up upset uh, the dancer or the star because, you know, uh, they're both in their birthday suits. Here they are. Let's see what else we have. Uh, can't have that. No, good God, no. <laughs> Let's see, we have Capricorn and uh, the moon card. This is somebody feels really upset here. It could be you here. Uh, for sure. Feeling, let's move the camera. Feeling upset. Uh, the moon card. Yeah, it could be like fear. It could be, uh, but I feel like it is being upset, uh, in this reading here. Uh, mm -hmm. this can talk about doubts and fears because 
somebody's still holding on to fear and doubt, right? Yeah, they are. Let's see what else we have. I don't believe it's you. Uh, mm -hmm. This could be you dreaming and using your intuition about the situation. Because the star sits here, and this is a spiritual card, right? The Six of Cups, uh, and it's here twice in the reading, and this is your concern. Will this person return to you, most likely? And in your environment, Capricorn, is the Seven of Wands. So all these people are fighting here. They are fighting, and uh, this is in your environment, and this is, uh, you feel overwhelmed about this, or very challenged, or maybe, uh, you know, I feel like whoever's, whoever here, though, is, you know, getting ready to jump off the bridge into the sea of love, that person is the one who is, this is inward fighting, like inward, cha being completely challenged in the, on the inside. This may be this person here. And uh, this could be resistance too. In your person here, they're resisting something beautiful. We, we get that right in this reading. They're resisting love. And it's even self-love. That's why, you know, this, you just want to like call this person up and go, can you please come over for, uh, for coaching? Yeah, you do. And we have the devil and we're going to cover up the devil here, Capricorn, because, you know, he also wears his birthday suit, uh, although it's not very nice. No, it's not here. And in your hopes and, uh, your hopes and fears, Capricorn, uh, in fact, in this, uh, reading this, in this particular spread I'm doing, this is really your desires and hopes. You're hoping this person will, rele will release themselves from these chains right and kind of unchain their heart from from something dissatisfying or whatever and uh page of cups shows up in your outcome so here capricorn is uh somebody who is trusting their intuition for uh for a new start this can be this person just talking to you right and you this could be you intuiting they're going to contacting you contact you it could be i feel like there is contact in this reading yeah i do uh but, you know, the main message here in this reading, Capricorn, is that this person is very close to jumping off the cliff and uh, to be with you. It's possible you felt like they were really close, but, you know, they haven't done it yet here because you're trying to make sense of this right here with this nine of swords. And let's look at their cards uh, before we go to the extended reading. And we start here with this magician uh, and this is secrets here. And uh, let's see, let's put this card down. This is your person's overall energy. And let's have uh, a brief look at that card. Mm -hmm. And let's see. And this is secrecy, confidentiality. Every relationship between two individuals or two groups, groups will be characterized by the ratio of secrecy that is involved in it. Yeah, and this is basically saying that, you know, if somebody is a secret... Uh, you know, there's a particular reason why, right? Of course. I mean, we can get into a long conversation on that and look at, you know, look at both sides. In this card, the guardian is herself symbolically an oracle. And here the man uh, stands over uh, the globe or, you know, it's not the globe. It is uh, the crystal ball rather. And here the key is inside and he knows he has the power to take the key out and turn the key here. Your person knows they have the power and uh, from the clandestine world of espionage, right, where there are uh, spies, mm -hmm. to the privacy of our personal inner thought, we attempt to keep our own secrets, but seek those of others. Any sharing of such confidentialities requires a demonstration of trust, whether it's between, okay, nations or just people, right, of course. In the context of human relationships, our curiosity or need to know may be for self-interest or a desire to help others. To achieve either will require a key. Okay, they go on and on here, Capricorn. But uh, this talks about somebody who uh, really just kind of has control here, right? And they have the key to turn, to have a new beginning. And uh, crossing your person here, or, you know, is the card of, uh, mm -hmm, is one of the most tragic things I know about human nature is that all of us tend to put off living. Yeah, we're all dream, dreaming about some magical rose garden. Uh-huh. When actually the roses are blooming outside our window. Yeah, <clears throat> this is your person knows this here. They are very close to kind of making this taking this risk Capricorn. We're going to see why it's all happening and what's on their mind. We're going to this is going to be a 10 card spread. And before we end the reading, you guys, uh, you, 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 there's an offer below by the mystic sense and you can get a free psychic 
reading with them. The link is below and the information is uh, is there. Once you just you know click on the link here, you can get that. Uh, and also my own private readings are open, right? You can see the About tab. We're going to end this reading uh, on my page. But here, Capricorn, uh, with these cards here, we're going to, uh, this will be a full spread here. And we're going to uh, also see what your person, what's unknown about them, how they feel about you, how they are looking at this. We're going to find out all about them. They're all super affordable. I have the link below. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless you guys. And uh, mm -hmm. please remember to like, share, and subscribe.